particular style for the style. Nah, we back at you. We're going to finish up on Lil Parkio. I just want to hear what he say for the first couple seconds. Like, Oni is still going to do it. That's the only person I was going to collab with. When I first came to the building, I saw still going to do it. He said, let's go upstairs. He was talking about some um, 6 9 stuff. Like, 6 9 literally, bro. You need to man up, bro. You need to man up and then go go directly to dirt. You feel me? Because... He's saying 6 9 need to man up. But what I seen in that clip, you didn't man up for the shit or principles that you stand by. Because obviously by this response to the whole situation, you telling 6 9 to man up. So you telling an undercover agent that he needs to man up. You telling a federal informant that he needs to man up. Are you working with the police too, little Perkyo? Is you and 6 9 in cahoots? Is that really your partner? Did they set 6 9 up with this dude prior to all of these things happening? Did they? You said he need to man up. Why you just didn't say, hey, no, nah, I ain't with none of this shit, bro. I don't give a fuck, cuz. I, I ain't rocking with none of that snitch shit. I ain't got no really no problem with you per se, but all that snitch shit I ain't rocking with and all this shit you trying to troll a little dirt because I look like a, I ain't with that shit. Why you ain't stand on that shit right then and there? You so scared of a nigga that snitched on the whole gang of niggas that it's what you gonna get beat up? You would have got more cool points if you would have goddamn stood to um stood tall for the shit that you actually quote unquote represent, which now we understand that you an undercover agent. You misrepresent what we actually represent. If you would stood up and be like, nah, nigga, fuck you, six nine, you a nigga, I ain't rocking with that bitch ass shit, and dealt with with the um, with the consequences, you could damn near guarantee little Dirk would have goddamn shouted you out or even took your ass on tour with him. But now you didn't expose your whole hand. Now he know you just ain't nothing but another nigga like 6 9 You let these niggas back you up into the corner. You let niggas goddamn wrap their arm around you like they like you they booty call in jail and shit, bro. Do you understand what that mean, nigga? If, you, if that wasn't your homie and he had your, his arm wrapped right around you, or you just feel uncomfortable and you ain't shrug him off or nothing, bro, what the fuck, my nigga? Bro, take them wick extensions out your head, my nigga. What you doing, B? You ain't you ain't show no type of form of aggression. You ain't show no form of alpha male energy. You just show nothing but feminine beta male energy. When you let another sucker ass nigga like Teriyaki Six Nine and his goddamn goons press you, and then you let some other nigga quote unquote finesse you into the situation, even if you got finessed into the situation, you should have finessed the situation in the better um, in the benefit of you. So like I didn't get to say in my first video, if you were smart, you would have exploited the situation and said, all right, come on, 6 9 let's do a video so he can pay you. I, I'm going to act like Lil Duck in the video, yada, yada, yada. You don't hold no allegiance to nobody, but since you acted like you actually hold an allegiance towards these niggas, look how they treated you. They treated you like you were a little stool pigeon of Lil Dirk, a Lil Dirk fan. This is how they would treat a Lil Dirk fan. A goofy little Dirk fan. Because most niggas that really ain't no fanatic over no other nigga. Nigga, I rock with your music, nigga, but I ain't no fan. You a complete fan, bro. You fanned out, my nigga. You undercover. Keep doing this stupid ass shit. I'm going to keep exposing y'all ass. This ain't no random acts. These ain't random people. Fuck, I don't believe in random acts. I don't believe in coincidences. Not DJ Academic, not Wack 100, not Hassan Campbell, not goddamn 6 9 not none of this shit. All this shit is calculated, planned out to the T, where it can look like a coincidence. If you plan it out good enough, it'll look like a coincidence. They ain't never heard of an accidental murder or make it look like it's an accident. The whole time they really did something to you off your ass. 
You can't be really doing that lame ass shit. You using my fist because I look like dirt. You using my fist to disrespect the, 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 the crew. You using your own face to goddamn act like Lil Durk and you don't even know this nigga. You using your own face. Nobody even know who the fuck you is. Who is you, Lil Parkio? Who is you besides outside of Lil Parkio? Because obviously you ain't about none of that shit, girl. Because you let these niggas, 6 9 and his group, straight punk your ass, bro. All this rant you going on that nigga, why you, you ain't say none of that? You ain't had that same energy when you was talking to this nigga. And it seems like you ain't that, um, you a cool dude. But you ain't even give up no cool, smooth, like, nah, bro, I ain't with all this shit, nah, but nah, I can't do that. You let niggas put clothes on you that you don't even want to wear. You tell these, you let these niggas tell you to, nah, keep it on. Nigga, I was like, nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You ain't say one foul word. Yeah, you, you the police. You the police, God. And nah, y'all ain't, you ain't, it's all right. I gotta stop saying that. Niggas ain't the police. Niggas is the undercover agents, man. That's way deeper than the police. The police is the motherfucker that's out here harassing people for no goddamn, for expired license and goddamn tail lights and shit. That's what the fuck um, they, they do. These motherfuckers, these is way upper echelon. These are undercover agents. They're being utilized. That's, that's really lame. That's really lame, bro. You're using my face. You're using clout. Like, everything you do is for clout. Like, you can't be doing it. Bro, you use your own face to act like Lil Durk for clout. You're a hypocrite. You saying 6 9 is doing the same shit you doing? What's, what's wrong? You mad that he acting like something that he ain't? And then what? You mad that you acting like something that you ain't? Why the fuck? What you mad for? You just didn't know how to goddamn exploit the situation. You ain't get no money from that shit. Probably... It, yeah, if you did, shout out. But you ain't get you ain't get nothing. Now look, like, look now look how they got you. It's gonna tarnish that little perky old shit, bro. St nigga, go back into the character that you was, nigga. Cause you talking about that shit lame, bro. That shit lame. You do you know know what the fuck going on in America? Do you know what's going on in America? Ain't shit goddamn sweet. Ain't shit fair. Ain't shit legal. Everything is ass backwards. Just like you can come in here and get gain some type of notoriety for acting like somebody else. And then continue to carry on this persona. Nigga, you ain't about none of that shit, cuz. Stop watching all this rap shit, nigga. And take your ass to Big Fact Podcast and listen, um, watch the rap trap. Shout out Big Fact Podcast, man. You hear me though? Shout out DrumMagazine.com for all your extensions, all of your legal firearms ammunition and gun range um usage you can check out drummagazine.com they located in st louis missouri they also on instagram and youtube drum magazine